Hello, hello, my peeps. I am here to bring you a YouTube one official music video reaction, you know, and for this, I thought I knew the song, but I absolutely did not. It was really enjoyable because I loved the raspy sound of Bono's voice. And I also really loved the interesting lyrics that they have in this. And you will be able to see my reaction in just like two seconds because we're going to go straight to it. Okay, y'all. I will see you in two seconds. <laughs> Is it getting better? Or do you feel the same? Will it make it easier on you now? You got someone to blame. You're saying, won't love, won't life when it's one need in the night. that I knew this song before coming in <clears throat> but I just hadn't seen the official music video and I thought it was one of those songs that you like you know but you don't really know and it kind of is that I think the only part that I really know of is that small part in the in the chorus like one life one love um so this is actually like I don't like this is I don't really know this song which I was kind of surprised um because it's a popular one. And another thing I wanted to say is his vocals are so, like, raspy. It's got that rasp to it. Um, and when people have that kind of, like, rasp, it brings, like, texture to the singing that kind of lends to what they're singing about. Uh, so whether it's just their voice is that way or whether it's a choice that they're making um it does lend to the music of that especially for this song too because i'm like it seems like they're talking about a loved one and it seems it seems it seems sad like they've lost them in in one way or another um but let's continue watching this Disappoint you or leave a bad taste in your mouth. You act like you never had them, and you want me to go. choice of lyrics I will say that um like 
did I leave a bad taste in your mouth? You act like you never had love before and you want me to go without. And like, um, have you come here for forgiveness? Have you come here to raise the dead? Have you come here to play Jesus to the lepers in your head? So it's like, it's, it is that kind of notion of, of like a past relationship that's just coming back to haunt you kind of, kind of thing. Or, or maybe it's, it's, I kind of see it as a dysfunctional relationship where you're kind of like on again, off again, on again, off again, because it's like, it's, it's not right for either person. Um, or like it may be what it sounds like in the case that he's singing about is, is like, he's like, what did I do? Or what did I not do? Because it's like, you gave me nothing. And now I'm left with nothing. That's like one of the lyrics that he says in there is the the nothing part. And so it's really interesting. It's just really interesting, the lyrics that are chosen. And um, also kind of like also the subject matter too. Like, yeah, there are songs about like unrequited love and stuff like that. But it's in this particular one, it seems like they've had a relationship and stuff like that. But it's just um one-sided or just toxic you know um but the lyrics are really interesting i um i i, I do that was pretty cool okay <laughs> i'll stop gushing over the lyrics y'all um let's continue this and bono because i didn't know that was bono I've heard people talk about Bono and I was like, who's Bono? And I was, now I know that's Bono. And apparently it derived from like a Latin word that meant good voice. Apparently uh, one of his friends, I think it was, it was not just Bono, but it was like a whole Latin word. Anyways, I'm off on a tangent now. Um, if you didn't know that, fun fact. I'm gonna bleep that out. Sorry. My technology is being... <laughs> song though like know that song i've been living under a rock <sighs> okay i enjoyed that his voice has such rasp and then he like goes up into um i guess like I don't really know because I'm not him, but like a like a head voice or a falsetto he goes up into and it's so fun. And then um, I really liked the lyrics. I think the lyrics were probably like one of my favorite parts about this because it just is like so particular. And I mean, yes, he does say like baby, 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 I think at the end or something like that. And yes, there are 
like little clips of not just like him at the bar but then clips of him and with you know um but i feel like if you take that out of it this song could very much be about anyone in your life whether it's like he even says like brothers and sisters and stuff like that um because it is kind of it's talking about this toxic relationship of like him not wanting to let go but then she's like not giving him what he needs and all this whole freaking thing and it's interesting because it's like i don't know you don't really you hear songs about unrequited love but it's like this is a bit different because it's like almost unrequited love but like down the road like farther down when they've already had kind of like a relationship but not a relationship but a relationship you know like it's just it's complicated um anyways i really enjoyed that that surprised me because i did really think that i knew this one and i went in and i did not know this one <laughs> so yay i'm kind of i'm like i'm glad for it i like to be surprised um so thank you very much for watching um if you liked the video hit the like button hit the subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you all in the next video Bye.